Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect. This is part 5, where last time uh, we ended up running through Cerberus operations where they were doing illegal um, genetic related experiments. We were looking at the rachni in cages and stuff like that. Uh, and then uh, we landed on Theros finally um, and we uh, the last thing we did was disconnect the, the ship uh, that was hooked in uh, to this place. So it's time to leave uh, the Exogeny uh, facility. Uh, we got to pick up Lisbeth on our way out, um, and then we should be uh, we should be good to go. So the um, all the shields, all the doorways are now out, and we can and we can continue. And then we'll uh, we'll see what's we'll see what's left uh, to do on uh, on Pharos um, after that. Let's see if. Beginning of, the, beginning of the game, man. Beginning of the episode. Start by pressing buttons in sequence. Third time's the charm. Give me those level five. Give me those level five weapons. We got there in the end. Alright. That's completed. We shut the door. No more ship. Hopefully no more enemies. We should be able to leave. Right, we've got this. It's a bit dark in here, isn't it? Just a, just a bit dark. Just a little bit. Okay. Just trying to... There we go. There's a little doorway. That's how we get out of here. That's good. And uh, we still got uh, we've still got the issue of the food, water, and power issues on Ferros as well. So we'll we'll have to check in. Yes, yeah, Lisbeth. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. You lied to me. I need some answers. I knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I never meant for this to happen. Hmm. Okay, I believe you. I do believe her, though, because she was the one who was against the thing. That's why she's, like, on probation. You did what you could. I'll help them if you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zoo's Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. Hmm. 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 But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. <laughs> that was an awkward end to the interaction. Alright, cool. Uh, Lisbeth has now, I guess, gone back home. Alright, so this is where we came from. That's good. And then we can make our way out. But hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I think. Just quickly check. Just quickly check this out. Not, not sure if I've gone this way or not yet. Oh yeah, I remember this room. This is fine. This is where we downloaded the stuff that we'll give back to that person. So that's all good. We have been here already. They are just stuck, I guess. Hello. Good old Liara. Alright. We'll leave here. I'm assuming Lisbeth has just uh, automatically left the area. I'll just check the map because I think. Yeah, we have to go. Yeah. This way. Oh, yes. We've got our car and everything.
Alright, I guess Elizabeth was just waiting for us in the car. Ah, there we go. Someone mentioned that if you press the A button you can do the thrusters upwards. That's cool. I like that. Settle down. Settle down! Stop shooting rockets at me! I wish we could just shoot the rockets. <laughs> Oh, that's so fun. I like that you can do the, the little boosters now. Check that air time, dude! <laughs> On the half pipe. Oh, not, not, so, not as clean as the first one. Let's jump the fire. Smooth, baby. Oop. All right. I like that. I like that. There's both a forward and an upward uh, thruster. What was that all about? Oh, is this our team? These the this is the people right down here. Wait. Skyway way station. Ah, oh, hang on, hang on a minute. No, I think I'm getting confused on my location from last episode. No need to get out of the car. Who's on the radio? Oh yeah, they're down there. There we go. I was one level too early. <laughs> yeah, Elizabeth was in the rover. She running. It won't let me run anymore. Oh uh, yeah. What are you doing? Everyone's fine. Look at them. They're chilling out. Everyone's fine. Oh. You can't do this, John. They're not fine. Everyone shut up. Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! Ooh. Shepard. Damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what happened on a coos. This doesn't have to end like that. What the fuck? What do you think you're doing, Zhang? Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Zhang. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. Hmm. Species 37. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has. The Thorian. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zoo's hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. Oh, my skill's not good enough. You've gone way too far. This ends now. If, if, if that's the way it has to be, heck, come on, come on! Oh, Shepard, no hesitation. Dude. I think we don't have enough problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. It's my fault. I knew what was going on and I didn't do anything. Don't you start. You do good work and you know it. So what now, Commander? I need to find out why the Geth are after the Thorian. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. What else am I supposed to do? There's gotta be another way. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. 
It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. A reduced capacity concussion grenade might suit our needs. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. Equip your grenades with the anti-thorian gas upgrade. This will disable infected colonists without killing them. Uh, cool. Let's have a look. Grenades. Upgrades. Anti-thorian gas. There we go. Maybe we can free our friends after all. I have to help them. It's my fault this happened. Good old Jung, getting shot in the head. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed, thank you. Just give me my credits and I'll be on my way. You bet. Thanks for all your help, Commander. Give me money, bitch! I get paid for my work. Alright, lovely. Let's go. Reunited. Mother and daughter. Transferred some data onto the USB. Getting stuck on rubble. Getting stuck on rubble. <laughs> Navigating through rubble. Making our way back to take out colonists with gas because they're infected by a plant. How did I know that that was not going to work, huh? How did I know? Sorry, I'll just do a bit more of that. Oh shit. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright, I, I need to rein it in. I need to rein it in. Okay, run over. I ran him over, but he's still alive. Cool. And it begins. could have altered a human to that extent. I wonder what is going on here. Wipe everything out! No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. As you order, Commander Shepard. 16 colonists alive. Okay. Are we, are we running it this way? Are we... Oh, okay. Okay, so we're allowed to kill the creepers. We can kill the creepers. These guys, gas grenades. Get gassed, bitches. That was nice. All right, sweet. I wasted a grenade before because I got con I got confused for a second. I thought that we were dealing with uh, yeah, but they're literally zombies. Those ones, those creepers. Just gotta be careful. Have trigger discipline. Because we could have like a colonist run at us in the same group as like these guys. So I know, just need to remember to gas them. Oh, hang on. Uh, see, like this. You need to be careful where you shoot. Alright, guys, we're gonna do it with a. No! 
How did that not work? I'm out of grenades. I'm, I'm fucking out of grenades though. How do I get- how can I get respect? How can I get resupplied? There we go, I got five new grenades, there we go. <laughs> Just on his leg. Good night, sweet prince. Greta Reynolds? Eat my gas grenade. Alright, they're not awake yet. I wasted a grenade because I accidentally threw one twice. So let me. Okay, that's got good range. That's good. Negative contact, Shepard. Okay, I think we nailed it. Ooh, bitch. There it is. I tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. It wants me to stop you. He's gonna kill himself. I won't. Oh, don't do it, Fadin. Shit, dude. I'm surprised that the number doesn't change to 15 colonists alive when that happens. Damn, Fidan. He resisted more than everyone else. Well done, man. You tried. You tried your best. Alright, well we've used the crane. So we're going down. Well, at least we put most of the people to sleep. Okay, good Paragon points there. I'm not going like all into one or like one or the other, like I don't mind mixing it up a little bit. It's a role-playing game, and that's the role that I want to play. Ooh, hoo, hoo. All right, we just need to find this creature and determine what, what it. That is disturbing. We are gonna need bigger guns. Guys, put your helmets on. Ooh, what? Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. Ooh. You gave something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them. Now. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will feed the ground. Oh, I don't have any grenades. 
I want to like gas her up. Uh, that's a shame. Um, oh, that's the creepers. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah, well we dealt with that one, so I guess we're going to be finding, finding other ones. Wake up, bitch. Okay. You just attack me later. Another one? Why an Asari clone specifically? Why an Asari clone specifically, though? We're just murdering Asari clones. I wonder how Liara feels about that. She'd be like, eh. Would she feel a little weird about it? But would she also be kind of like okay with it? Because it's like not natural. Got another node here. Get punched. Getting weird sound effects that are like popping in and out, so I just turned the volume down a bit for the game because it's a little bit loud. Oh, it just needs one more, one more hit, then they all explode. There we go. Shotgun is not good when I'm taking out shields. I was like, yeah, I'll switch to the shotgun, that's fine. Honestly, it's just not as good. I'm gonna get killed. Yep. It's, I switched to the shotgun and that was my demise. Critical, critical mission failure. Let's just try again. Are we? Oh, uh, we started back here. We started here, we'll do it again. <laughs> Alright, well I guess we'll leave some of the creepers alive. Mmm. Mmm. 
Tasty. Weird. Checkpoint, make us start everything over again. It's good. Why is that one so much weaker than the other ones? I don't like it. Sorry, Klingo. She's disappeared! Quick, they're waking up! Oh, uh, maybe I should have waited for them all to wake up, because now I'm gonna have to... Yeah. It's a shame that the damage doesn't get dealt to them when they're in like their fetal position. So that area of effect was just wasted. And they keep sending an Asari clone after us and it's just, she just keeps getting killed. She just keeps getting killed. Of enemies, hordes of them. Won't leave me alone. Medical station. I wouldn't mind some grenades then. Oops. Probably press two buttons at once. What I might do is I might, because I value the music and the voices, but the sound effects are a little loud, so I think if we check out sound. Please let me... Yeah, cool. I'm going to take the sound effects down a bit. Um, so that should allow me to keep the volume up as normal so we won't have like weird little um, changes all over the place. I just want to... Like, sound effects are good. I like them. But I don't want them like hammering into your head. Dialogue and music is like the most important. But hearing the same gunshot a million times when I'm trying to talk might not be the best. I just want to make sure it's hard because I can't like, I can't diagnose it in real time to be like, oh yeah, like this was fine because I don't know if like the gameplay will drown out my voice. It shouldn't because I have like filters in place for when I talk that the game volume adjusts, but. You know, not necessarily relevant to the playthrough, but just like if you're experiencing any audio issues, I am being mindful of that during the recording and um, try to gauge that as I go. Alright, we already. Yep. Alright, where do we go from here? Do we actually go down here? Yep. Interesting that some of them don't wake up. Oh. Back too soon. Oh, Liara just died. Hold on. Medigel deployed. Sorry, clone still? Yeah, there's sorry clones down there. Garrus just went down, dude. Oh my god. Garrus, no. Yeah, 
Your sorry clones are getting tougher. Just lost my whole team. I think that so the Asari clones get stronger, I think, each time that they are birthed. Okay, I guess I'll just wait for them to get up. They're just taking a nap. That's fine. They're just taking a nap. Uh, while they're taking a nap. That's interesting that like I couldn't do the intimidate option, but I'm maxed out at the moment. Maybe it depends on like how often you use them or which option you take because charm is uh, charm gets much more. So that's interesting. Advanced immunity. Um, advanced unity. Well, I kind of need that at this point, so give me that. That's fine. Start putting one into that and. Uh, Spectre training. Um, you can have singularity to give me the advanced one, and chuck a couple into this. Garrus, you can max out your decryption, unlock electronics, assault rifles. Sounds good to me, guys. Anytime you want to wake up from your nap. Because at the moment it's just me against the world. How long do they take usually to wake up? Or is do they only wake up when it's like out of combat? That makes sense. So we'll just wait for Unity to come back. Does it come back while I'm in the menu? I don't think so. I don't know. Oh, they came back. You're good to go. Alright, wake up everybody. We're good. <laughs> Let's proceed. Uh, Liara, have you, Liara doesn't have the ability to use shield boost. So she's got to wait for her shields to come back. There we go. Okay, now, we, now we're good. What's that? Alright, this time I wait for them to get up. Oh, this one is... Oh my god, why is this? This is probably the last one. That's why it's just going to be super tough. Um, okay, you can use Overkill. So will I. Use Barrier. There's not really much that I can do with the Thorian Creepers with this one. Wish I had some gas grenades, but I'm all out of them. Don't do it. Oh. That Asari clone was much weaker. Nice. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Like the base plate for the cloning, right? It's the original. I'm free. I... That's why. I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. That's why there was an Asari clone. Because I was like, why specifically an Asari clone? That's weird. As soon as you see the blue, you're like, yep. Nice. How did you end up inside that thing? My name is Shiala. I serve. I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Mm. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. Benezia sought to turn the river and was swept away. 
Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. I believe that is the that is the ship that I missed in the first episode of uh, of, of Mass Effect. I apparently could have seen the ship in the skybox, and um, I missed that one unfortunately. But that's cool. Saren is fucked. Then why were the Geth trying to destroy the Thorian? After Saren had what he needed, the Thorian became a liability. Saren knows you are searching for the conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the cipher. What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. Enough mystic crap! So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sense this ancestral memory, the cipher, when I meld it with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. I need the cipher. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. Dude. I've given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are a part of you now. Are you all right? What just happened? There's an unfortunate, and I think the reason why, like, I think your character will just have mostly, like, because you can customize your character, you know? But everyone else is set in stone, so your character is the one that's going to be more emotionless than everyone else because it's hard to, I guess, have those facial animations uh, across like a character that can have multiple different faces compared to someone who has like a very set, static, already pre-rendered face. Um, so it's just like in that moment, like you know, the Asari's like frowning and like having facial expressions, and uh, Shepard's just like. I see into the... It's like disassociating, just like... I see into time and space. I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. 
It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship where you can be monitored. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Tell me more about this ship Saren has. Sovereign is alien. I do not know how it was built or where it comes from. Its design does not match that of any known spacefaring species. It dwarfs any vessel in the Citadel or Alliance fleets. Its weapons are devastating. Its defenses virtually impenetrable. With it, Saren believes he is unstoppable. You said Saren uses it to manipulate his followers. The indoctrination. There is an energy about Sovereign. You feel drawn to the ship. It makes Saren's arguments more persuasive, more compelling. Spend enough time in Sovereign's presence and you will lose yourself. There is no other way to explain it. I want to know more about Benezia. Benezia was greatly respected among our people. A powerful biotic, even for an Asari. She was widely known as a teacher of philosophy and religion. She always sought the paths of peace and harmony. She joined with Saren because she hoped to turn him away from his path of destruction. Instead, she became one of his most powerful allies. As I mentioned before, Matriarch Benezia underestimated Saren. Be sure you do not make the same mistake. So she's just kind of like un in like indoctrin indoctrinated right now. So she's not like technically like, I'm all in on the Saren wagon. Like, she's kind of like, you know, there's probably a part, a big part of her that's kind of suppressed right now. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic, and he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries, I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. I can't let you live. Jesus Christ. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. I genuinely... We did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. I genuinely wonder... Um... No, I had a thought, and then she started speaking, and then I lost it. God damn it. Nah, maybe it'll come back to me one time. We'll see how we go. Um, alright. 
Shall I? Oh, uh, yeah, the, the negative option where it's like, I can't let you live. I was just like thinking, I was like, I wonder what the consequences would be for just always being the asshole like the whole way through consistently and how that would turn out. I Picking bad dialogue choices in video games has never been my, my strong suit. Um, but that would be an interesting playthrough. Just like always either the abrasive, aggressive option or full renegade and just see what happens from there. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. Farewell, Shiala. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. I fought so hard, but any thought of my own caused so much pain. Anyone gonna talk about Fidan? It'll be tough going, but we'll make this a home. You saved most of the infected. It'll take time to recover from the physical effects, but they'll be all right. <laughs> I hope Exogeny learned from this. I'm confused about how Arcelia. We can rebuild this place. We're stronger than the company gives us credit for. Arcelia mentions nothing about um Fidan. We didn't even see this guy. I never thought I would be so thrilled to see a soldier. Forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined and filtered. What will you do now that the fighting is over? I may stay and try to recover my losses. I can have new supplies delivered within weeks. Perhaps the colony will survive after all. Let me see what you have in stock. Of course. Return in the future and I may even have more to see. 152,000. Mate. Imagine saving up all the money that I have over this amount of time <laughs> and then just uh, dropping it all. Alright, I sold some stuff. Didn't buy anything though. Probably not probably not really worth worth stuff at the moment. Um, but you know. I'm not gonna drop I'm not gonna drop hundred and twenty two thousand credits on a uh, on a weapon when I'm finding upgrades pretty regularly. Finally that damn thing is out of my head. I can think without pain. I still need the power cells for this generator though. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate it. Yeah, the next things I'll probably try and do um next things I'll probably try and do is um go for the um the side quests on Ferros to like do the power, water, and, and food. The Sovereign is the flagship of the rogue Spectre Saren. An enormous dreadnought larger than any other ship in any known fleet, it is crewed with both Geth and Krogan. At two kilometers long, its spinal mounted main gun is likely capable of penetrating another dreadnought's kinetic barriers with a single shot. How Saren acquired this incredible warship is unknown. The prevailing opinion is that Sovereign is a Geth construct, while others believe it is a Prothean relic. Its design, however, hints at a more alien and mysterious origin. The attack on Eden Prime demonstrated Sovereign's ability to generate mass effect fields powerful enough to land on a planetary surface. This implies it has a massive element zero core and the ability to generate staggering amounts of power. Nice. Cool ship. Cool ship, my guy. Um, I'm going to just start... Hmm. Advanced Adrenaline Burst. Master Unity. How about that? Uh, oh, yeah, I'll do Master Unity. And then... I don't want to leave, like... I, I kind of don't want to leave pistols and shotguns unspecked. I do want to get in there, but... Then at the same time, at the same time, I don't know. Um, Liara, work on the stasis. Garrus, um, Turian agent, and assault rifles. Cool. How much health does my squad have? Yeah, Garrus and Liara are pretty weak compared to me. Hello, Greta. Oh no, I think Greta might be the one to talk about uh, Fidan. 
Thank you for freeing us. Nope. Rest in peace, Fidan. You were forgotten by everyone. <laughs> Nobody cares. Mm -hmm. Everyone's like, hey, where's Fidan? We were all kind of in a daze and we all got put under control and and then like, where'd he go? Did he did he make it? That's like it just seems like a little bit of a weird oversight that like Fidan wouldn't didn't make it. No one even no one bats an eye. It it doesn't hurt anymore. I can think my own thoughts again. We have a chance to start over, thanks to you. Food is still our immediate concern, but we'll manage. I'll look into it when I get a chance. Thank you for your help. You've already done so much. I've right, got a few people in here. Thanks, Commander. It's great to be free again. Where's, um... Pharos will be back in shape in no time, Commander. We'll make sure of where were the people that were in here before? While decrypting these logs, he found something suspicious. Several months worth of human rations were delivered to an uncharted world in the Voyager cluster. They tell me you survived the coups. Glad you're on our side. It's good old stuff related to my backstory. That good old uh, Jong knew about. He's like, I've read your file, bitch. Oh, here we go. They're in here. And she's up, man. Free. I can't believe I'm free. They were chilling in here. I'm free. Thank you for giving me my mind back. Thank you for everything you tried to do here. Okay. Cool. Mm. That's fine. <coughs> Interesting, though. Just everybody, uh, everybody's like, thanks. It's really great that we're all here. Certainly not missing anybody. If we were, we would definitely say something. Cool. Well, we've got the, the, the water to do. Um, Alan Ferris found the personal log of an Exogeny employee. The doctor's notes expressed some concern about samples they provided to a group he explored as Cerberus, which we need to go to the Matano system. Um, head to the Armstrong Nebula Cluster. Um, Nodocrux is located in the Vostok system. We got the power cells, the Varan meat, Geth in the tunnels, and water restoration. Um, so I might finish up with the Ferros things uh, before we go. So I'm just going to run through these now, see if anything um, anything of value pops up during that. But I'll just clear them out, and then we can move on to a, another location. I think I found my friends. Um, I I love that uh, right here. When we came here last time, and I turned on this thing, um, I, like it's it's pretty it's pretty dark down in the tunnels. So I didn't like this is just a, a wide open door. Because uh, <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, we got the two consoles here, and all I had to do was just continue on this way. Um, so these are the tunnels that I'll be able to do everything in, I suppose, where we'll be able to get power, water, and everything sorted out. So let's take out some Baron and try and find the Alpha One around here somewhere. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye! There it is. Well, that was hard. The Varan falls dead, riddled with slugs. This must be Alpha Male, uh, the pack leader of these feral scavengers. Well, that's that done. Malfunctioning object. Sludge canister. Nice. Also got power cells. Great. Good stuff. So, power cells done, Alpha, Varan, done. Got to clear out the rest of the geth and uh, find this last uh, water terminal as well. More geth! Hello, everybody! How lovely to see you here.
Good night. Checking this side first, because I'm not sure if we can go over to the other side yet, but see how we go. Okay. We're now at a dead end. This is a dead end. Just got to check each door, each pathway as it comes, and then we'll see how we go. Okay. That's also a dead end. Just need to see if I'm being blind in the tunnels once again, but we'll see. Because there's no... Is there a console that I missed right here? Yes. Cool. Uh, water's done. Um, so let's have a look. Ferris power cells. Deliver the cells. Inform Davin Reynolds. Still got to find the Geth. Inform Marsha. Good stuff, good stuff. Turning this last valve appears to have activated the system, Commander. Thank you for letting me know. Now I think this way will take me to more Geth. Yes! Oh! Nice. Oh, and Krogan's. Ah! <laughs> God, when they just sprint at you. Or when they walk backwards at you. Why are the why are the Krogan so weird? The Krogan is so weird. Ah They just get like super tough when they run at you. That's right. I melee killed a Krogan and lived to tell the tale. Come on beefy boy! Leave me alone. Jesus, where's my squad when I need them? They're not even here. I just soloed them. Where am I? Where is. What are you guys doing? They're not even listening to my commands anyway. Alright. Fuck me then. Thanks, team. They always follow me. So I've never really had to constantly, like, call them or anything. Alright, journal. Um... Okay, I think we're okay. And then Geth Activities, you found an encrypted Geth Terminal. We already found that before. Cool. We're good. Alright, I'll go report back and uh, get, this one, uh, get this one sorted because we've cleared out the Geth now. We can go report back on those side quests. And then I'm thinking, like we've got, we've got many assignments that I can get to. Many assignments. Um, so we might we might focus on some of those now that we've cleared Pharos, because um, I'm just you know I'm a bit limited to time, limited for time, this week. I've got a couple of things going on, so I can't jump into something hugely extensive. Can't believe the colony held out as long as it did. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Can't do something hugely extensive. Aha! There's still more. And my squad is still... Hey, okay. There we go. Alright, they're, they're following. But just, you know... Very far behind. They're still standing still. I don't know if they've... I don't know if they're broken. Guys, my squad is broken. My squad is broke. But we'll go to we'll go to some space clusters. Uh, so I'll go report back to everybody now, um, and then we'll uh, we'll move on. Hello, Devin. Have you given any thought to helping us with our food shortage? 
I took out what looked like the oldest of the Varen. The rest are yours. That's great. I mean, Varen tastes horrible, but with the Geth gone, I can organize a hunt. Thank you for not abandoning us like everyone else. I should go. Here, for your trouble. It's not much, I know, but it's all we can spare. I was wondering if we were gonna. We got 74, 7.4k. It's not bad. I was wondering if, uh, if we said goodbye, if we were actually gonna get given anything. So I don't have to demand payment. <laughs> Unless you've got something important, shoot. I'm trying to jury rig something to replace the missing power cells. Oh yeah? Do you want my power cells or not, lady? I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, Fidan gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. Yep. Fidan. Lovely guy. Wonder where Fidan is. Have you given any thought to helping us with our water troubles? The water's back on again. Really? I'll need to get the relays going then. Thanks for your help, Commander. Here's a small payment for your trouble. Fucking cash money, dude. Love that. Can I just go back to the Normandy from here? Nope, I gotta go the long way. So, being on like an uncharted world that you visit, uh, you can just go back whenever. But, being on a main mission planet when you like kind of dock in and you don't get dropped off in the in the Mako I guess you gotta do the same thing that you do on the Citadel go back to the ship the long way this way just in case anyone's hanging around here before we leave no nope. all right we got our thanks we did our missions Ferros is complete Aren't these clamps supposed to be down? Aren't they supposed to be on the ship? Let me in. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Commander, you look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? I was just brain probed! The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. That's so good. So if if we if I went to Ferros first instead of the Artemis Tau cluster and didn't get Liara, we wouldn't be having this discussion right now, which is very which is very interesting, which shows like the choices that you make, you know, really really kind of clearly that it's like you can miss out on a whole interaction like this with an Asari who can actually make sense of the Prothean stuff. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Get into my brain, Liara. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Did you see anything? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are are missing. The data transferred into the commander's mind is incomplete. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision, what was there at least, but something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Mm -hmm. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. 
Dr. Chalkwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. You sure it was the joining? I feel fine. Your role in our communion is passive. That's what I thought. I am the one who must submerge myself in your mind. Drown myself in your thoughts. It is more difficult than it looks. The human subconscious instinctively resists the joining, Commander. A strong personality like yours makes it even harder. We're done here. Dismissed. I sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Yes, let's have a chat. Let's see what they have to say. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogenius should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. Exogeny tried to study it. Look how that turned out. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. This guy's annoying. Sparatus is so annoying. Goodbye, Counselor. Oh, lost the connection, ma'am. Sorry. <laughs> Don't talk to me like that! Bruh, I'm, I'm a, I'm, I've got a squad full of alien friends that are great. I help everybody! Galaxy Map. Commander, we got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Is it the ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the council. I'll patch it through to the comm room. Do I just have to go back where I, go back where I came from? Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. Nice. What kind of information? We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. You mean spies? Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Cool. No discussion with Sporadicus. With Asparagus. Uh, that's fine. So that's good. He's the dickhead in the Council. We don't want anything to do with him. Alright. Good stuff. Alright, currently on Ferros. Now, if we take a step out, there's Vermeer over there. Uh, we got Novaria to go through as well. But Vermeer is an option. Um, just wondering if. Um, Just wondering, we also got that we also got that assignment to go to Earth's Moon. We got the local cluster, and we can go to the Soul System. Yeah, look, now the oh no, there's different there's different clamps. I guess for different sizes, depending on how big your ship is, maybe. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna do that assignment that takes us to Earth's Moon, baby. We're going to the soul system. Boom. I love how everything else has such a cool name and it's like awesome. And then it's just like local cluster. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Look where all the planets are. Oh, Pluto. They, Pluto counts. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is so cool. Wow. 
Pluto is one of Sol's numerous ice dwarf worlds. It is mainly of note for being the gravitational anchor for the Prothean mass relay to Arcturus. Pluto and the Charon relay, formerly encased in ice and considered a moon, orbit each other. Pluto's orbit was circularized in 2157 as a side effect of the Charon mass relay recovery operations. Mass Effect considers Pluto a planet again, baby. This instantly becomes like the most exciting part of the galaxy map for me because it's like every other ship, uh, sorry, every other planet and cluster um, that you go to and you check everything out, it's like, oh yeah, like this was all like created and they've like got all like, like this lore about it and it's like, yep, this planet's called Gas, this planet's called Blue, this planet's called Ferros, etc, etc. And then you have like stuff like this when it's just like, Mercury, Earth, Venus, like Mars, it's just, it's just so cool. There's just something so fascinating about our own solar system because it's something that we know, but have, seeing it in this, in this video game uh, is, is amazing. And look, we got Earth and you can see Earth's moon, Luna, Mercury. A handful of solar power stations exist on peaks of eternal light at the north and south poles of Mercury. The difficulties imposed by the planet's proximity to the sun and high orbital velocity have limited development. 340, there are people living on Mercury. That's awesome. And then something else as well that I, I think I really like is like the added Mass Effect lore to our current planets in, in, this, uh, in this time period. There's people, yeah. There's people living on Mercury. That'd be, that'd be hot. It's like the summer planet. People go there, they get a tan. Venus. With its molten temperatures, sulfuric acid clouds, and crushing carbon dioxide atmosphere, Venus has only a handful of aerostat research outposts. There's 800 people on there too. A day. One day on Venus is 243 Earth days. But they're so close together. 58 Earth days is a day on Mercury. And then Mars. Um, their day is 24 Earth hours. How cool is that? I'm having so, so, much, so many weather issues today. Rain and the wind, so I hope if that sorry if there's any like background noise that's coming in. 2103. So you could live on Mars and it's almost like the same except for like the orbiting period, but the day length is almost the same. Let me look at Jupiter. Jupiter's deep gravity well and lethal radiation have kept its moons from being significantly exploited. The largest outpost is Binary Helix Corporation's Nautilus facility attached to the underside of Europa's ice sheet. Population on all moons is 9100. 9.93 Earth hours. Saturn. Saturn has been a major source of helium-3 fuel for fusion planets since the 2150s. The moon of Titan is mined for hydrocarbons and used as a hostile environment training facility for Alliance Marines. 117,000. Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> After the development of Mass Effect FTL Drive, distant Uranus was the target of a land rush to exploit its combination of plentiful helium-3 fuel and shallow for a gas giant gravity well. Today, Uranus is the largest producer of He-3 in Alliance space. 371,000. Imagine living in the outer solar system. Even though they're all they're all gas planets, it's only 70 people on Neptune. Neptune, like Uranus, has plentiful helium. Its remoteness made it an unpromising target for mining before development of Mass Effect Drive. With Uranus cheaper to exploit, it has never seen extensive development. The only permanent human presence is a small research facility on Triton. Wow. And last but not least, it'd be nice if we could check out the sun. But last but not least, Earth. For detailed information, please refer to the standard issue Alliance Galactic Codex 
Earth orbit is riddled with debris generated, uh, generated by bootstrap space development. Use of kinetic barriers is recommended at altitudes over 85 kilometers. Population on the surface, 11.4 billion. So we're currently kind of in that seven-ish, seven-ish, last I checked, right? What's the current estimated population of the world? Let's have a look. As of today's day, uh, the Earth population is, um, it's like, you know, it's in that late 7 billion. It's like 7, in 2019, it was 7.6, and it's like kind of estimated growth, like 7.8 at this point. So, I don't think that this increase is very accurate. 11.4 billion in like the 2100s. I reckon we'd be looking at a lot more, especially even with like, uh, but there is space travel actually. People are on different worlds now. Not millions or billions though, only the thousands. So having, you know, 11.4 billion. That's interesting to think about. And then we got 250K on stations. That's cool. There's Earth, and now we can check out Luna. So we can't even survey any of the planets, which is very interesting. Definitely can't land on any. It's a missed opportunity that we can't land on Mars, at least. Um, an early source of Helium-3, Luna is now mined for materials used in space habitat construction. Two dozen major stations have been constructed at Earth's L4 and L5 uh, Lagrange points, all from Lunar Resources. 2069, 4.1 million in the Armstrong capital. That's cool. That's wild. Let's land. Let's land on the moon. We're landing on the moon, baby. Um, I'm going to take... Um, I'm going to take... Because we're only doing an assignment. I'll take people that I don't usually take with me. Um... We're going to take Ashley for the first time, and we'll take Tali with us as well. So, we'll, we'll take him with us, just for some combat variety. Maybe I should, I'll, I'll probably have to look at there. Oh, that's so cool! Seeing Earth! Wow. How cool is that? Oh, that's awesome. I couldn't even imagine what... An astronaut would be thinking right like looking at that and being like holy fuck that's where I'm from like, that's in insane the thoughts that would be running through people's heads while on uh, while on the moon you know the home world and capital of humanity is entering a new golden age the resource wealth of a dozen settled colonies and a hundred industrial outposts flows back to Earth, fueling great works of industry, commerce, and art. The great cities are greening as arcology skyscrapers and telecommuting allow more efficient use of land. Earth is still divided among nation states, though all are affiliated beneath the overarching banner of the Systems Alliance. While every human enjoys a longer and better life than ever, the gap between rich and poor widens daily. Advanced nations have eliminated most genetic disease and pollution. Less fortunate regions have not progressed beyond 20th century technology and are often smog-choked, overpopulated slums. Sea levels have risen two meters in the last 200 years, and violent weather is common due to environmental damage inflicted during the late 21st century. The past few decades, however, have seen significant improvement due to recent technological advances. I love how that is such a realistic and grounded take on Earth's future. I love that description. Pharos, Vermeer is a lush world located on the frontier of the Attican Traverse. Its vast seas and orbital position on the inner life zone have created a wide equatorial band of humid, tropical terrain. Only the political instability of the region has impeded efforts at colonization. Many times the Citadel has opened negotiations to settle Vermeer with various criminal gangs and petty dictatorships in the nearby Terminus systems. 
all fell apart due to internal power shifts within the opposing parties. The Citadel has written off the colonization of Vermeer as impossible without significant political change. The Terminus powers themselves are unlikely to ever settle Vermeer. Most lack the resources to support settlement of a virgin world, finding it more expedient to steal from their neighbors than build for themselves. Crazy. All right. Um, more codex stuff in a primary sense. Oh, Ashley. <laughs> Ashley, you have no experience. What's going on? What's happening? give her some something different compared to uh, compared to the rest you know let's bump up your like your shotguns skills let's make you like aggressive pretty pretty round round the board Pretty good, not, not too bad. There you go. Spec Ashley, finally. Um, been a while for Tali as well, a little bit. We'll just go full hacking with, uh, with Tali. Nice. Gotcha. All right. And then, sorry, Shepard as well. Just gonna chuck that in so I can finally unlock shotguns. Um, I'm gonna just prep my team um, and then we'll uh, run around the moon and do this assignment. All right, we've got some ruins to ruins to check out. What's the bet? It's going to be a probe that I can't decrypt because I decided to take on different people. Is that something red? Oh no, that's just the border of the, of the planet. Of the moon, sorry. Hey, you can see the sun. That's so neat. I love that. So we're heading across to some ruins first and then we'll go to the Alliance training grounds. Yeah, there you go. I can see it. What's my squad skill? Yeah, electronic skill is like halfway. It's probably going to be like too low. You need Liara. If only you could like change squads on the go when you're just like on an Uncharted world. CCCP Luna 23. Oh no, there you go. We're, we're good actually. Good to know. Nice. Gotcha. Alright, now check the map. Go to Alliance Training Ground. Guess we'll just ride up. We'll just go straight up, it's fine. I genuinely love the traversal on planets, it's so good. And we'll see what's going on with this Alliance Training Ground. Oh, oh, actually, hold on. This might be t this might be too steep. Might be too steep. <laughs> Goodbye. Abort mission. Don't make me go around. We can do this. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. Scale it diagonally. I've ridden mountains with my horse in Skyrim. I can do this. Yeah, we, we got this. We were almost over. And... Diagonal is definitely the way to go. As soon as I go up, it's like, nah. There we go. Oh no! I did that too early. Yeah, there we go. Easy! Are we, getting, are we gonna get shot at? Yep. Oh, what the fuck? I'm not even seeing the project. There we go. Now I'm seeing the projectiles. So what the hell? Just 
Chill out, everybody. All right. Is there multiple bases then? Yeah, there's three. Okay. All right. Let's check the. F let's just check the first one. Okay, so this base is, has an exact same layout of uh, as the Cerberus places that we went to. So we got consistent environments and technology type deal. Yeah, set up exactly the same. Hello? Oh, they're just assault drones, what the hell? Settle down! I'm gonna die! Okay. Got two plot points up here. Three, four, five. Many. The number keeps growing. Okay, four in each. Hello. What's it? Uh, ah, yes, the VI can do it, right? Toxic gas. Oh. Jesus, okay. Try and make this quick then. I won't have any virtual intelligence taking over my Alliance training facility. Put in the codex there. Probably the Mars ruins for Protheans, maybe? There you go. Combat drones. Telling us about combat drones. The lights on the optical mainframes flicker and die. The first of the three computing clusters containing the VI is offline. Charging up. Okay. It's that one done. Two more to go. And then the Alliance base is clear. Yep. Exactly the same thing as last time. Take out the four. Take out the four junctions. Okay, so yeah, only VIs, as was stated. I was wondering if there were going to be maybe like people around as well, but it seems like it's just very, um, very contained. Kinetic barrier fields powering up throughout the bunker complex. 
That's alright, I'll just shoot around them. Oh. <laughs> oh no! I'm trapped! I can't move! Is there any consoles in here? No. I love that they're like, yeah, let's put up these little hexagon shields that can just be shot around or shot through in three bursts. Alright, second one's offline. Wonderful. Just shields everywhere. Um, and then we can go check out the third one. And then that's our lovely excursion um, to the... to Luna. Completed. Look at them. They're absolutely just ready to go. So ready to go. Guys, chill out. <laughs> There's so many. At least this is an easy way to deal with them. I just filter them all through the hallway instead. Nice. That's one way. That's one way to do it. Draw them all out into the hallway. Okay. And the final. The final. Function. And we'll probably bring this one to a close because we've got uh, two areas that we can check out after this. Ooh, additional drones powering up, hey? Eh? Except they're hidden behind a shield, so there's nothing that we can do about it. What I might do quickly, just while they're all together, is I will change my grenade because the grenade that I'm using still has anti-thorian gas. Um, so I might just go back up to using the incendiary ones. Nice. Futile defenses. Probably one of the more mundane assignments, which is a shame, because you go back to, you're going back to like the solar system, you're landing on Earth's moon, and it's like, and it's just like, oh yeah, go here and shoot some robots, and there's no dialogue, and it's not really that interesting. So that's a shame. It's like a bit of a letdown when it's like, yes, we're going to the moon, and then it's just kind of like, it's very subpar. I hope we get to come back, um, and there's, and there's something else that we can do later. A burst of white noise over all frequencies nearly deafens you. Your hard suit's heads-up display interprets it into a series of zeros and ones. Ah! Binary! They repeat again and again, blanketing all frequencies until the lights on the final VI cluster flickers and dies. Specialization class achieved. Your specialization class will replace your base class in the talents on the squad screen. Talent ranks in your base class transfer over to your specialization class. Go to your squad screen to view the bonuses you gain with each rank in your specialization class. Ooh, select a class, shock trooper or commando. Shock trooper, highly trained killing machines. Shock troopers excel in all combat situations. Increases health, damage protection, immunity or barrier ability, improves adrenaline. Or commando, rely on lethal efficiency and precision strikes rather than brute force. Damage with all weapons, immunity ability, marksman ability and assassination. So I can go more into like sniping and stuff like that. I think I will go Shock Trooper. So if I now go Squad... I got Shock Trooper. Highly trained killing machines. Cool. So I get like a, a nice little bonus one there. Sweet! I love that. Cool. Uh, that assignment um, has now been completed. Uh, so I believe that should be in the completed sections. This one. 
Yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, that one's all done. Uh, so what that means for this episode is I will bring that one to a close, guys. A uh, little bit of a shorter episode. The last one was obviously much, much longer. Um, but I have a couple of things going on this week. So it's uh, as much as I would love to go for another hour and probably go to like either Novaria or um, Vermeer, um, I will check those out uh, next episode. So we'll, we'll be going to most likely Novaria. I'll try and go in, in, in sequence. Um, but we will decide when we get to it. I'll check out both planets um, and their descriptions and we'll see what's going on. But guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Mass Effect. Uh, been a great time resolving the Ferros conflict, learning a bit more about what's going on uh, with our vision as well, uh, which is very cool. Um, and also we'll probably check in after that mission. I'll probably walk around the Normandy a bit and we'll check in with our teammates uh, next episode um, as well. So guys, again, thank you so much and I'll see you then.